To optimize your camera for taking pictures of sunsets, you may want to set the HDR mode, or for more control over other camera functions, you may want to set the program mode instead. In which case, you want to make sure the flash is turned off. You may need to set the ISO, the white balance. I would recommend using a tripod, so you may want to use the timer mode. And you might need to use the exposure compensation dial. Let's get started by setting the camera's HDR mode. Turn your mode dial to these two circles. These are your filters, and in here you have a bunch of different filter options. Go ahead and press the function button to access the function menu. Then use the up and down navigation buttons right here to set the filters option right here. Then you can use the control dial to move between the different filters. In this case, we want to use the HDR or high dynamic range filter. What this mode allows you to do is capture three different images, each with different exposures, and then combine them into one image that's perfectly exposed from the darkest shadows to the brightest highlights. Go ahead and press the Set button to escape. And now you're ready to take your picture. First, go ahead and compose the image the way you want it in your frame. Then, press the shutter button halfway to lock focus and ready the camera. Once the focus is locked, you can press the shutter button the rest of the way to take the image. If you want to have a little more control over other camera functions, such as ISO and white balance, I recommend using the program mode instead. Turn the mode dial to the letter P. This stands for program, and much like the auto mode, the camera will set the appropriate shutter speed and aperture for you. However, it'll give you controls over things like ISO and white balance, which can be very important. Now, since this is a sunset and you don't have a subject close enough to the camera for the flash to have any effect, Make sure the flash is turned off by pushing it all the way down. Let's go ahead and set the ISO. Press the ISO or up navigation button right here. And now use the control dial to move around. In this case, I would recommend setting this to 80. 80 ISO will maintain the cleanest and smoothest colors possible in your image, which is perfect for sunsets. Go ahead and press set. Now let's go ahead and set the white balance. Press the function button again to access the function menu and use the up and down navigation buttons to choose the white balance function right here. Now use the control dial to move around between the different options. In this case, because it's a sunset and I really want to enhance the reds and oranges, I'm going to choose cloudy. Go ahead and press set to escape. Now depending on the shutter speed the camera chooses for you, you may need to use a tripod. Go ahead and frame the image the way you want it in the screen on the back, and then press the shutter button halfway. If the shutter speed is too slow for you to handhold, for example, slower than 1 60th of a second, you may need to set the camera down on something stable or use a tripod. If that's the case, you'll probably want to use the timer mode. Go ahead and press the function button again to access the function menu, and then go down to the self timer function right here. Now use the control dial to choose the two second self timer. Go ahead and press set to escape. The two second self timer will allow you to press the shutter button all the way and release the camera, giving it those two seconds to stop shaking before the image is captured. Now you're ready to take your picture. Again, frame the image the way you like it. Press the shutter button halfway to lock focus on something in the distance. Then press the shutter button the rest of the way to activate the two second timer. Release the camera gently giving it those two seconds to stop shaking before the image is taken. Because sunset images may be very contrasty, you may need to adjust the exposure compensation to adjust for the camera's exposure. Once you see the image captured in the screen, you'll know whether you need to increase or decrease the exposure. To do so, turn your exposure compensation dial right here. If you need to slightly increase the exposure in the image, turn this to the plus side. If you need to slightly decrease the exposure of the image, turn this to the minus side. Once you've adjusted your exposure compensation, you can see the setting displayed down here. Go ahead and take a second shot to see how that affects the image. 